welcome back and welcome to another tag video uh yeah promised you lots of these and uh, this will probably be going up when i am back in the uk so you get to experience my usual background because uh any videos i make back there won't have my books i'm going to miss them so much uh so this is the coffee book tag uh, had to do this one just like when I saw the Gilmore Girls one I actually watched this uh, coffee book tag like when it was kind of first doing the rounds um, when I was just watching booktube and when I was looking to make some uh, tag videos I thought I remember seeing that one so I saw this one on uh, Jesse the Reader's channel and on Katie Tastic's channel uh, and I will link the original tag video in the description box as always as well as the questions if you want to do this tag yourself so question number one I really struggled with this question and I haven't actually come up with anything. Uh, this Black Coffee, name a series that's tough to get into but has hardcore fans, uh, a bit like Black Coffee. I can't drink Black Coffee. I can drink Black Iced Coffee but and Black Espresso but just normal coffee. It has to have a little bit of uh, creamer in it. I can't, it, just, just a little bit, a little bit of creamer in it. And I much prefer it with cream than milk, but that's because I like sweet things, but hey. Uh, so yeah, I really couldn't think of one for this one. I, um, all the series that I read and that I talk about with fellow readers have kind of, it's easy to get into. So yeah, couldn't think of one for that one. Moving on. Uh, number two, Peppermint Mocha, or as they say over here, Peppermint Mocha, um, which is one of my favorite flavors of coffee creamer, actually. I do love that one. Um, name a book that gets more popular during the winter or a festive time of year. Um, now, this is quite obvious, and I think quite a few people, oh, there's a ribbon, quite a few people who've done this tag have mentioned Harry Potter. This is definitely like a Christmassy type book and the films in particular are very popular at Christmas. They're always on TV in the UK at Christmas. Um, another book though that I feel is kind of Christmassy, um, I'm going to talk about the third in this sequel of books later on in the video um, and so I'll bring that up then. Uh, number three, Hot Chocolate, your favourite children's book. Um, now, my favourite children's book uh, could be anything. I love stuff that I read when I was a child, but one of the books that I love and share regularly as a teacher, you'll be expecting this one as well, is Wonder by RJ Palacio. I made a whole video about the wonder of wonder, and it comes up a lot in a lot of these tags and the top tens that I do on my blog, which again is always linked below. Um, but Wonder is definitely just oh, amazing. Who's excited about the film? I'm so excited about the film. Um, I, want, I just want to see how they handle it and I'll probably be rereading the book beforehand as well. So exciting. Uh, and then question four. Double shot of espresso. Name a book that kept you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. I do like a nice double espresso. I like it at night though, which is probably wrong. Um, now I work less, I do find that espresso does keep me up at night, so um, probably should lay off the espresso. But I'm going for like an author rather than just a book, and that author is uh, C.L. Taylor. There is one missing here. Uh, let me know in the description if you know which one is missing. Um, but the, the first book here, The Accident, uh, I famously made my dad wait to go out to his birthday dinner so I could finish the last 17 pages. Yes, I remember it was 17 pages. Uh, and then The Escape, right here. This is uh, Callie's latest book and I made a whole video talking about that one but if you like a good psychological thriller with a nice strong female lead and some good family values then definitely check out this fabulous author um, and yeah three books in answer for this question. Uh, next one is Starbucks. Name a book that you see everywhere. Um, there are a load of books 
that I could talk about. Um, I'm thinking specifically about booktube and seeing it everywhere on booktube but also kind of seeing it everywhere in shops and I had to think about one that I read and that I have and that I can sort of talk about that I've seen everywhere that isn't Harry Potter obviously see that everywhere and wonder um and so I went with Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell because um I saw this everywhere on YouTube everybody was talking about it I hadn't read it I hadn't read it I hadn't read it I read attachments loved attachments I got a proof copy of Landline read that one listened to the audiobook of Eleanor and Park and I had bought this one which is a signed special edition one um, which has the, when you take the dust jacket off, it's got the poster underneath. Let me just undress it properly. So there's the naked book, which is very lovely. Nothing on the back. Weirdly, this on the front, nothing on the back. But then the, um, the inside is the oh, poster of the emergency dance party which if you'll have read Fangirl, which you probably have, since everybody seems to have read it, uh, then you'll know what that's about. But yeah, it took me a while to read this one and I didn't actually read this one until um, just about a year ago when I listened to the audiobook of it. So I didn't read the special collector's edition because it's fancy and it needs to be kept looking fancy. Uh, but yes, number six is the hipster coffee shop. Give a book by an indie author a shout out. Now I'm going to talk about um, an author that has a publishing contract but her very first book was, uh, her very first, um, yeah, her very first book was an indie uh, publishing book and I read it on, was a self-published book, sorry, and I read it on Kindle and so I'm going to talk about that author who is. Holly Hepburn. This is the first part of her Star and Sixpence series, um, just the very first part of it that I was lucky enough to meet her and get signed. And um, but her first book, which is an ebook and is on Amazon, is called Cupidity, and it is very good. I have a review on my blog. I will link it below. I read it in the early days of my blog and then I have talked about this series and also her um, Picture House by the Sea series on here and on my blog so if you want to know more about Holly Hepburn you can definitely do some digging and find out some more about her but definite shout out to her she is fabulous. Um, number seven, oops I accidentally got decaf decaf I went into a coffee shop yesterday wearing my espresso yourself t-shirt and the guy asked me if it was regular coffee I wanted or decaf I just why why would I want decaf especially when I'm wearing an espresso yourself shirt regular coffee please all the caffeine all the time yes I don't do decaf if I want something decaffeinated, I will have a peppermint tea or like a water. If I'm having coffee, I'm having it for the caffeine. Anyway, um, a book that you were expecting more from, more caffeine from. Uh, this one is going to be quite obvious. It's one I've read recently and I was really disappointed in. And that is Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. If you watched my seven mini reviews, uh, wrap um, sort of booktubeathon type wrap up, uh, which I will link up here somewhere and below just in case you miss it. Um, you'll have seen me talking about how disappointed I was in that one um, when I was expecting an awful lot more, to be honest. And then finally, number eight, the perfect blend. Name a book or a series that was bitter and sweet but ultimately satisfying. And this is the book that I could also use for um, peppermint mocha more popular during the winter I think that Bridget Jones's diary and um, Bridget Jones the edge of reason the first two books by Helen Fielding are um, definitely quite Christmassy because they start on New Year and they end at New Year so you get a lot of the beginning stuff and the end stuff which is generally quite action-packed happening around Christmas time and the book that I'm going to talk about that was bittersweet and if if you've read it you'll know why but I'm not giving any spoilers but there was a whole massive spoiler about this on like 
national news um, is Mad About the Boy by Helen Fielding which is like the Bridget Jones 3 that isn't Bridget Jones Baby obviously Bridget Jones Baby came out when Bridget Jones Baby the film came out and I haven't bothered reading the book because I read Mad About the Boy and I felt that there was closure from that one so I didn't feel the need to read Bridget Jones's Baby um, even though I did like the film I did enjoy the film it was fun but I couldn't unremember what happened in Mad About the Boy so it was like this is definitely a film not a book uh, so yes Mad About the Boy very good bitter and sweet definitely so there we have the coffee book tag uh, I know I talked a lot about a lot of those questions sorry it's when you're talking about books you just get carried away books and coffee so uh, cheers and uh, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you are not already subscribed, if you have made it this far, I'd love it if you joined me and uh, click that subscribe button and then you'll be notified as to my next tag or review or wrap up video. Uh, and you won't have to go searching for it. Um, I will have another video for you very soon. I still have a couple more tags signed up, so you can look forward to those. Um, and yes, I might be back with a different background very soon as well. So I will see you then. Bye.